What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ryan, with Laced Up Vapes. I'm nervous. I don't know why. It's literally 1.31 in the morning, and I don't want to be here, but I, I have to be here, and the reason why is because of this. Okay, look. We did the... Um, I'm going to not try to say settle down now. We did the settle down now Fogger CT Sour Apple Ice. I have it in my closet sitting on a top shelf because I don't want to smoke at all. It's that good. I was laying in my bed counting sheep, and I just kept remembering I have this in my car. Should I wait? Should, no, I can't wait. I want to know if this is going to be yums. Strawberry mango. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If anyone is going to do it, it's going to be Settle Down Fogger. Dang it, I said it. Blissful, they're amazing. They're everything you want a disposable to be if you're a disposable fan. Ooh, I like this one already. We don't throw these away or trash them to the side. We keep them for memorabilia purposes, and it's going to go right on the shelf. I can't wait to have all of them. Ooh. It takes a long time to get into because they care. Ooh, fuck. That is not an easy device to get into. You know why? Because they care. They don't want anything happening to it. So they give you, that's harder than breaking into Fort Knox. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what are we looking at? We're looking at the Fogger CT. Can you read, toots? I'm so excited. I, I, why are you so excited, Laced Up? Why are you so excited? Because I've done lots of disposables and nothing has given me yum flavors like this. Woof, woof. Mm -hmm. We don't even judge scores on this thing. That gets everything a moving and a flowing and a going. And honestly, listen, if this thing is seriously bad, I'm going to tell you. If I don't like it, I'm, why would I make it up? <sighs> Look at that. So I, I reckon that's where it's supposed to be because that's how all of them have been and the reason why. I don't know. You've got the Dickies. Have you seen it? If you haven't even seen this one, go watch my Sour Apple Ice and go watch my Strawberry Kiwi one. Then you'll know what the business is. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the Fogger CT 10,000 Strawberry Mango. Ooh, goodness. Smell flavor? Doesn't smell like much. It actually doesn't smell good whatsoever. It actually really doesn't. All I smell is that. Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, time to see if the Strawberry Mango gives me... I, I mean, why would I think it's going to be bad? It should be delicious. Cheers, skis. I'm nervous. Let's get it. Whoa. Oh my goodness. See, these are like, these are flavors like you, I'm, I'm so serious when I say this. These are flavors that you've never experienced before. And this, I don't know where these things are popular in what part of the world. But this is like this isn't a vape. This is not a regular disposable. I think that's what it is. You know, we're so used to like all these things, like all of these, and you know, we love these. This is what's oh, Jesus. This is what's good to us. This isn't this isn't like that. It's like juice. I honestly, this is the only times that like I just wish, I wish someone was here so they could try like all of these and then try this. Like, let, let me, let me look for example. Okay. So I know, so basically, uh, how do I say this without sounding weird? All of these vapes, they taste, they're so good. No knocking. This is what I'm used to, right? I'm going to continue to vape these. I'm going to love these. But this isn't like a vapey flavor. It's almost like natural tasting. Like it tastes like a natural strawberry and a natural mango. It doesn't taste, that's what it is. It doesn't taste like a vape juice. That's exactly what it is. It's a whole different spectrum of juice. What are you guys doing, Fogs? Tell me what the business is and why isn't everyone else doing this? It's just like strawberry and mango juice. You don't even know that it's like vape. You just, you're tasting the real strawberry and mango. I almost don't even know how to put it into words. Like I can tell you, this is, this is very good. It's not my number one flavor at all. But if you say strawberry mango, like that is a strawberry and mango juice. It doesn't taste like a vape juice at all. That's crazy. It's nuts. And it's so, it makes your mouth salivate. Like the flavor is so potent and so strong. This is sweet. If you're going on sweet scale, you're like a six. Ice, there's probably like a two. So they do go for very high, um, very high sweetness. It's nuts, man. I feel like I just swigged a, like a juice in the refrigerator. And that's how like, like that lingering taste, like that natural juice tastes like. How the fuck are they doing this shit? That's crazy. Man, I wish someone could try this. That is delightful. It's not, I don't feel like I'm vaping. 
I don't feel like I'm vaping. I feel like the smoke and like what I'm blowing out isn't bad for me, which sounds weird too. You would just, it's an experience that you have to have. That's all I'm going to say. It's, I can't, I can't talk and I can't really put it into words when I try these things, but you just, when you have it, then you're going to be like, okay, now I understand what he's saying. That's basically where I'm going to leave it at. It's, it's, it's just such a different experience than just regular vaping. It's insane, man. You are getting a, your strawberry is actually a little less potent than the mango. You're getting, I, see, I'm smiling and this is real. You're getting a good, probably 30% strawberry. The rest is mango. The mango is like, I, I, it's a natural fucking juice, man. Mango juice. And you got strawberry dolloped in there. Pretty sweet. Lingers, it lingers on the top of your roof of your mouth, which is kind of strange. So the top of the roof, dingly dang, is left alone. So it's not really affecting that whatsoever. But the, the upper part of the roof of my mouth and my tongue is just coated in that wonderful strawberry mango juice. What the fuck, dude? Dude, what the hell, man? All right. I'm not even paying attention to the dicky dicky. We were on the small guy. Let's go ahead and do it to the big guy. And I'm sorry. I meant it the other way around. I don't know. I don't know what to say. These things, honestly, I don't even, I don't even want to really give it a score because it just sounds like I'm just making it up. All I'm going to say is this thing is definitely a 9.3 out of 10. <laughs> There's no scores for these things. I haven't had, I have one more and I th I don't even know if I want to try it. I'm just going to hold on to it so someone else can experience that. They need to. You need to experience this. Anyone that vapes has to experience this because it is, you're going to almost not even want to try any other vapes after you try this, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It forms to my hand perfectly, just like a book. Look at that. Duckbill Maltese. That's the only thing. It's teethable, but I kind of, for a weird reason, wish that was a little bit rubbery or, you know what I'm saying? So I could bite down and nibble on it a lot. The airflow, you get the two dickies. That's all you really need. It, you don't need anything. You don't want a huge, huge airflow with this. Dude, that is so nuts, man. It's crazy. I, I, I'm, I honestly, guys, like, you know, I'm so silly in videos. This is not, this is so bizarre and out of my character to do this with any type of vape, but it, you, once you have it and you try it and you, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like if I do any of these, like let's say Tyson, I'm getting like a, like they're still good. Geek bar. Delicious. It's what I'm used to. It doesn't taste like that. It doesn't taste like a vape. And I know it because it's got the cotton and stuff in there. It's got to be something like that. And then you're not using like whatever. I don't fucking know. Whatever's inside of those is not what's inside of this. And it's very different. And these things are delicious. That's all I can say. I I can't preach enough about how great these are. This is by far my favorite disposable. I, I don't know what else to say. If you want your mind blown and taken to a whole nother dimension, you're a vape fan and a vape enthusiast like little laced up is over here. This is when you appreciate this shit because it is so good. I don't even want to smoke it. I just want to have it, pull it out when I want a really good refreshing taste and then put it back away. That's how good that is. It's unbelievable. That is sweet. What did I say sweetness wise? Go to a, like a six and a half, seven. So if you're not a fan of sweetness, that sucks for you because I'm so sorry. I want you to try it, but you're not going to like it. So if you don't like sweetness, consider not. That stinks to say that. But if you're digging it and you want to try that, these are by far my favorite devices I've ever had. And I don't know. I'm sure one day something else will come out that'll beat this, but that's going to be very hard to do. That is crazy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for dropping in. It is, it's insane, dude. I literally, it's, it's, it's like I just poured juice on my mouth. That's how sweet and like coating of my tongue that is. What does that even mean? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for dropping in again for one of the best devices I've ever had in my life, just for you. Laced up vapes, and we're out. Holy shit, dude. What is this brand?